Hello Internet, my name is Michaelis221, and today I'm going to be presenting to all of you 7 tips to make a successful and enjoyable Minecraft survival multiplayer. In case you haven't noticed, over the past few months, videos and streams of gamers playing Minecraft survival multiplayers, or Minecraft SMPs, have overtaken the internet by a storm. There are many gamers out there who wish to begin their own SMPs, and I've come to the conclusion that there must be a very analytical and methodical approach to creating SMPs, as successful as the Dream SMP or the SMP Earth, and you don't have to be a very famous streamer or YouTuber to do so. I myself own an SMP for my friends and I, and I know exactly what makes an SMP functional and what makes it not functional. So here are 7 specific things you must do to create a successful and enjoyable survival multiplayer. Number 1. Only invite close friends. Once you begin inviting strangers and giving the access to your server to these completely random people, your lively SMP will start to become much less of an SMP and much more of an anarchy server, simply because they don't respect you or know you. And you probably don't want that, unless you're crazy about places like 2B2T. But that isn't how you make an exactly functional SMP. So yes, do only invite close friends. Number two, set up a center of communications for the members of your SMP to communicate on. This could be a Google Hangouts chat or a Discord server, but you must make sure there is some other way than the in-game chat to communicate with your fellow players. This way you can create a community and a group of people who actually enjoy playing the game together. Number three, have as little automatic farms as possible. With automatic farms, players stop striving and everyone has everything they need at the switch of a lever or after a few moments being AFK. Basically, once you have a gunpowder farm, villager breeding farms, and iron farms, you might as well be in creative mode because you can obtain anything without working hard for it. And if you might as well be in creative mode, you absolutely defeat the purpose of a survival multiplayer. I'm not saying to completely outlaw automatic farms, but do set a limit on which automatic farms are allowed or have as little automatic farms as possible on your server. Number four, do not completely restart the SMP when a new update comes, unless all members of the server agree to it. The very first SMP I actually was a member of, the owner decided to completely restart and wipe out the existent world because of a new update. Which, you don't even have to restart your realm because of a new update, it updates automatically. And when the server owner did this, many of the members who had lost their hard work and creations due to the restart, lost interest in the entire server and left. Most people just want to have fun on Minecraft and enjoy the creative liberty and to appreciate the hard work it takes to achieve certain goals. This is why, if you restart at all for any reason, you must ensure that all of the server members are in agreement because it can have very bad effects on the community of your server and your server members if you just restart without notice. Number five, don't be afraid to use your operator powers. On my own SMP, I myself have banned people, given other people creative mode for reasonable purposes, teleported to places, and etc. If you're a server operator, you have a right to do this. Once again, you still want to keep it in the bounds of a survival multiplayer for it to remain enjoyable and fun for everyone else. If it ceases to be a survival multiplayer, it defeats the purpose of having the server at all. Set fun goals for the people in your realm. Whether it be defeating the Ender Dragon, constructing a castle, building a village, or exploring the Nether for Bastions, always establish some goal to make an enjoyable and fun experience for all of the players on the SMP. On the last SMP I was a part of, the motivation that everyone had to reach a common goal was a war that began. I won't get into the details much, but this war definitely was something that united everyone under a common goal, and it allowed the server and the community to flourish. People constructed fortresses, they went out with their friends to grind for netherite and diamond, and they stacked up on potions and armor to prepare for the war. Although it was a massive conflict which involved death, destruction, and bloodshed, it allowed the server to flourish and everybody had a fun time while doing it. So a war definitely isn't necessary for your server to flourish, but do make sure there is some goal that everybody in your community is trying to reach. And number seven, don't be afraid to use mods or custom worlds on your realm. I've seen people use many fun and hilarious mods on their SMPs. A horror mod which darkens the atmosphere and makes mobs terrifying, a new dimension custom world, a middle earth mod which broadens the landscape and changes the terrain altogether. An SMP never has to be in a normal vanilla Minecraft world all the time. You can use mods to a reasonable extent to allow everyone to enjoy your server and have even more fun on it than ever before. Minecraft SMPs are incredible and vastly fascinating, if approached in the right manner and done in the correct ways. As I've said throughout the video, only allow close friends, establish a center of communications for your members, always make sure to allow people's creative liberty on the server by not abruptly restarting it, 
don't hesitate to use operator powers when necessary, set fun goals for everybody to enjoy, and use mods and custom worlds to take everything to a whole new level. Minecraft is a great game with endless possibilities, but it was designed to be a multiplayer game. You were made to play this game with other people. And with Minecraft SMPs, I've gotta say, this is only scratching the surface. Anyways guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Please do leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this, and I will see you all in the next one.